Hello and welcome to the Grossmont Union High School District Mathematics Course Flowchart for the 2015-16 school year. The flowchart takes into account student progression through mathematic education, 9th through 12th grade, and you'll see that on this flowchart horizontally across the top and vertically as you read down the years. As you can see, it's a complex, complicated, and comprehensive approach to student learning and supporting mathematics learning for all students in the Grossmont District, regardless of where they entered. Common Core Mathematics stand, state standards were adopted in 2010, and with that adoption came a great deal of work on teacher professional development on implementing these new standards, as well as creating a math pathway so that all students can meet their educational needs in mathematics regardless of where they enter. In the ninth grade, students can enter at a variety of points based on their completion of their eighth grade Common Core Math Aligned Sequence, whether it's Math 1, Algebra 1C, Algebra 1 Honors, or Geometry 1 Honors. It's important to note that regardless of where a student enters, their math education is supported throughout their four years in the Grossmont District, and they may meet their high school graduation requirement of the Algebra 1C course and one year beyond that, as well as their college and career readiness by their 12th grade year. So you can read this chart both vertically and horizontally, and students can go within their pathway into a variety of courses to support their learning. For example, after ninth grade, if a student has earned passing grades and goes on to 10th grade, their math coursework is determined on their math readiness. You can see they can go into Algebra 1, Transitional Geometry with Algebra, which is a course designed to prepare students to pass the high school exit exam in mathematics, and it also supports their algebra skill set so that they're better able to move on after 10th grade year into another year of math. The Geometry 1C and the Geometry 1H courses are also offered, as well as the Algebra 2 Honors course. From the 10th grade year, they go on to their 11th grade year. Again, the high school district requirement for mathematics is one course beyond Algebra 1. And for college career readiness, most uh, students need to have three years of mathematics, four preferred, and that's where in the 11th grade year you can now see that same tr transitional geometry with algebra course offered for the Math 1 student in 11th grade, as well as the Geometry 1C, an intermediate algebra course, an Algebra 2C course, Algebra 2 Honors, and the Algebra 2 Honors Pre-Calculus Compaction course, as well as the Pre-Calculus 1 Honors. Again, you can see from the chart, students can eventually reach by 12th grade year the Calculus or Pre-Calculus or Advanced Placement math coursework that they are uh, desiring to attain in order to meet their post-secondary college and career readiness goals. At the 12th grade year, you'll see a, a unique course, Consumer Math. This is a considered a math for non-math majors, if you will. It's still a pretty dense mathematics course, which students enjoy, and it complements their earlier learning. There's a Geometry 1C, an Intermediate Algebra, the Algebra 2C, the Pre-Calculus 1C, the College Prep Statistics, the AP Statistics, the Pre-Calculus 1 Honors, the AP Calculus course, and um, it's important to note that Advanced Placement is uh, an area of coursework that's offered by the College Board. They are an outside private company and they test and offer courses worldwide. We are a, a serve the Advanced Placement program by offering these courses which are considered the first year of college coursework on the high school campus. Because they are a private company and they control the curriculum and the testing, they do provide testing usually in May of the school year at a cost and that cost is set by the college board. The school facilitates the testing, collects the test fees, and actually proctors the exam on behalf of the College Board, and students receive their score sometime in July or August after their coursework is finished. The high, Grossmont Union High School District partners with the College Board, but we do not control any part of the College Board. 
If you'll note at the bottom of this flowchart, advanced placement statistics can be taken concurrently with any math class at or above the Algebra 2C level. This course is very uh, interesting and many students enjoy taking it uh, simultaneously as an elective course in their mathematics study. You'll notice too in the asterisk there's a footnote that says not all courses are offered at all sites. That tends to be a complex puzzle uh, of course offerings based on the students and their needs as they come to the local high school. Consumer math is available to seniors only. The International Baccalaureate program is available at Granite Hills High School. There are an International Baccalaureate Studies and an International Baccalaureate Mathematics program that is unique to Granite Hills. And if you are interested in learning more about that, you may uh, call Granite Hills High School and ask to talk to someone about their International Baccalaureate program. We appreciate your time and attention. For further information, if you are a parent of a current eighth grader, please contact the high school of your student's expected attendance. If you are a parent of a current seventh grader or younger, please contact your middle school staff or the district office of your middle school district. If you're a current parent of a high school student, please talk with your current high school student math department for more information. We appreciate your time and we hope this facilitates your interest in math education in the East County region.